Hello everybody, welcome to the Master Wing channel. Thank you for stopping by. We are back into the Oceania beta. The playtesting continues and here we are jumping into what I hope to be another exciting game. Uh, check out what we have here. We have the Pied Build Grebe and I still like that card. It's from the core game. And Omnivore Expert and Platform Builder. Um, I like this Rufus Owl. Um, we will look at this bird feeder here. A couple nectar in the bird feeder. Um, we maybe can get this Rufus Owl down. Eastern Phoebe. We could play that in the grassland. Lay eggs, then play the Grebe. Draw cards, and the extra cards can get me nectar. I'm not really interested in the mistletoe bird. It's three food, pretty expensive. Um, gonna have to wait for another video to to try that one out. I know it's a new Oceania bird, but just because it's Oceania, we're not gonna grab every single one of those. You gain one berry from the supply, or discard a berry to gain a nectar. So it's a gain food, brown power, or an exchange. And then we weren't interested in the Clark's Nutcracker either. <clears throat> we are going second this game. My opponent starts off with the good old bush tit star nest. And nothing in the trade that is very exciting to me. Um, I've tried that emu out, and we'll probably feature it in another video. I think I, I didn't have it in the right situation, but the emu is tough to depend on. Um, the brown power, um, you gain all the seeds in the bird feeder that are available. You, you keep half of the seeds that are in the bird feeder rounded up, and then you give the other half to another player. So if you don't have somebody resetting the bird feeder all the time, the emu does nothing. And once you get that seed, you're kind of stuck. So just FYI, I know some of you are eyeing that tray, wanting me to play it, but not today. We are starting off with the Phoebe. Um, I did gain that one nectar while I could. But I didn't want to discard any other cards. But that one Nectar will allow me to play the Rufus Owl in a couple turns here. Masked Lapwing in the tray. Guys, that's almost an automatic pickup every time I see it. I am liking that bird more and more. Um, you reset the bird feeder with the Masked Lapwing. Wow, and the little penguin. Hmm. Not sure this is going to be a little penguin game. I think I'm going to leave that for now. But anyway, that mask lapwing, you reset the bird feeder, and for every food die showing, you get one of that type of food. So it's a big boost to your supply, usually, when I play the lapwing. My opponent played that Cooper's Hawk. I'm finding that the majority of players, myself included, um, are getting one bird in the forest, grassland, and wetlands just about every time, at, at least in round one, because as you can see, that second slot, you can now gain two food, two eggs, and two cards for Oceania with this uh, layout. So, I don't know, it's becoming a must, and I'm seeing a pattern there. Uh, we did lay eggs with that Phoebe, so we will go ahead and play the Grebe. So we will be able to see four cards when we draw cards. And remember, we picked up that Nectar earlier, so we could play Rufus. Good old Rufus. Uh, little Penguin is a star nest that could work for my platform builder. Um... You know, it's seven points. I may go ahead and grab that. My opponent plays ring build goal. So they've got more of a traditional wetlands setup with some tucking powers here. 
Oh, Willy Wagtail. Check this card out, guys. Draw one face-up card from the tray with a bowl nest or a star nest. You may reset or refill the tray before doing so. Um, I think the Wagtail may have just sealed my plan. And Lesser Frigate. Wow. Um, Nine-point Wetland Bird. I really like this wagtail, um, but I need to discard a card, so I'm, try I'm trying to figure out which one I don't want. Um, I guess the Oriole. I know Pink Power's kind of got a level up in the, this beta. Everybody's gaining food more because they want more nectar, and the Pink Powers are coming through. As I discard that card. I think I just had better cards in my hand. So we're going to pass on that one. But cards like the Eurasian Tree Sparrow. Which I barely ever played. Before Oceania. I played that like three times. In the past seven games. And it's it's been doing very well. Um, the Egg Layers got buffed. The, the Wetland Players. It feels. I mean the Wetland Birds. Feels like they kind of got nerfed. Like you don't have to play two wetland birds right now. You don't have to extend out that wetlands. You can just be good with one or two. That's what it feels like anyway. That's that's our conclusion thus far. Uh, two turns left. I'm debating whether to play this lapwing, wagtail, or rufus. But we go with the Wagtail. I think it's slightly more important than getting the Rufus Owl down. So we're going to hold off on that. But that just gave me draw power in the forest. I really like the Willy Wagtail. It could go in the grasslands as well. But I'm thinking since I have some bird bombs in hand, the 779 that um, I think I might be gaining food more than I'm laying eggs this game. So we stick it in the forest, the wagtail. One turn left, this round is flying by. I try to get four birds down, usually. But I think we spent more turns... Uh, Gaining food and drawing cards than normal. And the birds we have left, most of them are... Mo most of them have a food cost of three, sorry. Trying to talk and play at the same time. Um, we lay eggs one more time to win the end of round goal. Eggs in the ground nest. Good old Eastern Phoebe, we did... Take that free worm while we could. Passed it out to our opponent. I'm thinking we could play the lapwing next. And then boost our food supply again. Uh, without having to take the gain food action. We have the great egret and the malifowl and the shell duck. I am looking for platform nest birds and the great egret. Since I'm going forest. With this wagtail. American Woodcock, too. Man, we're drawing bombs. What is going on? White-faced Ibis. Look at this hand, y'all. 717-9978. Seven, seven, nine, nine, seven, I've got like, I don't know, 30 points in my hand, maybe. Probably more than that. 40 points. If I had that little penguin down, that might have been a good draw, because, well, I guess we only got the white-faced ibis, but we're saving the penguin for another video. I'm thinking this grebe is a good uh, card for my wetlands, just like what we did, um, because the wagtail is great, but we're only limited to bowl nest and star nest for draw power did y'all see this lap wing we have one food and now we get five different types y'all this lap wing early game 
huge boost to our food supply. And it goes with that white power third end of round goal, which is great. It's a beak pointing to the right. It was just perfect while we could grab it. But anyway, like I was saying, that wagtail is limited to bull nest and star nest. So if we need to go into the wetlands like we did a couple turns ago with that grebe, uh, we can grab three more cards. And we're also doing pretty well on this second end of round goal. My opponent has already 10 tucks. Uh, but the goal is um, worms and the food cost of your birds. That lapwing did its job, and we got to play lapwing to Rufus Owl back to back. Really happy with the tempo of the game. And my opponent still only has three birds, but they've got good draw power and they've got the tucks. So I'm, I'm thinking we're pretty close here. And... What does my opponent do? They gained food. Didn't think there was any nectar in the tray, but wasn't paying attention. I was looking at something else. Um, we are going to gain food in this wagtail. Even though these birds aren't something I want, I'm going to use them to grab extra food later. And since this wagtail, you can reset the tray. I, I have pretty good chances, I feel like, at grabbing some extra cards. And you can also use it as like a like a denial bird. Um, you know, if there's a, a lot of good birds in the tray or something and you can't pick them up or it doesn't fit with your plan, you can use the wagtail just to reset the tray anyway so your opponent doesn't grab something like a... Like, if a raven showed up right now, I'm not sure if we would play it, but I don't want the my opponent to get it. You know what I'm saying? So, the wagtail can be useful in that regard. I think my opponent picked up the Plains Wanderer. It's a white power bird that lets you draw bonus cards for every grassland bird you have. And... I have five food, but I've got all these three food cost birds in my hand. Uh, three turns left, trying to plan out. I think I want to play the American Woodcock at some point. Just debating if we want to gain food while we can. I could get a reroll right now. I think that's what I want to do, and then trash this the chimney swift yeah now we get one nectar and a fish we need that as well and another nectar which is perfect sweet and willy wagtail reset the tray we'll take the shrike even though these are trash cards, we're going to find a way to use them. Like I said uh, in an earlier video, you can usually find something to do with your extra cards. With this grassland setup, that'll just help us lay more eggs later. I also like this Rufus Owl. Um, you get to see what you're tucking, basically. You look at the tray, and if there's a bird under 75 centimeters, you can tuck it behind the Rufus Owl. So before even taking the gain food action or using the Rufus out, like, like you'll know way ahead of time if the owl will be successful. Whereas some of those predator powers are, are pretty random. Um, couple yellow powers in the tray. I'm thinking this little pied cormorant is a grab for me. Just double checking to see if my opponent needs those other birds. Fish crow. Check out all these platform nest birds we're, we're drawing. Another nine point fish eater. Goodness sake. I don't think any of these are bonus card birds, but um, man. We got to figure out how we're going to play all of these. <laughs> um, 
Sitting at 26 points, not bad. We have the Platform Builder bonus card, which is perfect with the hand that we have. I think we're going to have a slower round three. Honestly, this round, besides the Lapwing and the Rufus Owl, feels like it's been a little slow. Um, we boosted our hand a little bit with the draw cards action. But we need to get rid of this Nectar with the last turn left. And we need to lay eggs coming up soon. So we will put the American Woodcock in the grassland. And then again, we can burn those extra cards for four more eggs. I think that's the play. Hoping these bird bombs come through. Just double checking what we want to use. I think most of my birds need worms, so I am cool with that. And we got on the board for the nectar battle in the grassland. And it looks like we're leading or tied. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six wetland birds. Five of them are higher point scoring. And then you have the little pied cormorant yellow power. And this tray just keeps on dropping bombs. We got a wild turkey, snowy owl. So we can't play all of those wetland birds. We'll have to debate if the cormorant is worth it later but I think it will be if I can get some of these other platform nests down I've enjoyed reading some of the comments on uh, just the two videos we have out right now thank you for watching and commenting and liking and being so supportive if you are not getting to play test this right now I think you have a lot to look forward to um, we're taking a chance on Trumpeter Swan and King Rail being taken up. Oh, wait, you know what? We can reset with the Wagtail. Just like I was talking about, we can deny stuff. Um, we will tuck. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm thinking Hummingbird under the Rufus Owl. Reset this tray to deny the other birds from my opponent. And what do we want here? What could my opponent do? I guess they could play the magpie. We'll take it. Seeing a lot of point bombs. Yeah, but anyway, uh, I think you have a lot to look forward to if, if you're not getting the chance to play this yet. I've encountered a couple bugs with the pink powers um, that have been reported. But for the most part, compared to the teal powers in the European expansion, it's it's been relatively smooth in my experience. It's actually been really weird to go back to the core game with their board design. Um, I'm kind of relearning the game, and you're you're just surprised how much this new grassland and and new setup changes the game uh, i'm not even really talking about all this nectar i'm really just trying to make the most of our turns and you know well, what's the sweet spot as far as egg layers are you always searching for an egg layer are we are, are we as concerned about the power four birds is is there another power bird that we really need to deny um is building out your forest the best option or, or should you still go grassland those are the, the decisions that make uh, wingspan fun and every game is just so different so so i'm liking it um your plans are obviously changing on the fly but uh, it makes it rewarding. So my opponent played European Goldfinch a while ago. 
that kind of negates my Rufus L. So that was a good play by them. And this re-roll was very fortunate having three nectar. You don't think all that nectar is doing anything, but then when you tally up the scores at the end and you have a, a nine point lead just because of nectar, I mean, it, it's obviously very powerful. Um, Wagtail, we did not reset the tray. Taking a chance, my opponent doesn't take the Great Horned Owl. Might have been a mistake there. And we drew all these heavy hitters for birds, but I've got nine turns left to get them down. So I'm, I'm a little concerned here. We've, we thought uh, round three was going to be slow, but we're really just stockpiling up all this food. For what we're going to do here. And my opponent didn't grab any rats. So I'm still thinking he's going to pass on the 8 point Great Horned Owl. And we got to get rid of one of these other birds. So we got a 9 point Heron. We have 9 point Frigate. We have a great egret is seven points, but a double play. The cormorant with all these platform nests, they're going to pay off. Yep, say goodbye to little penguin. So that's pretty cool. We can keep all our extra food and still lay four eggs. That third slot in the grassland, I'm telling you guys, if you can get there, Gives you more flexibility what to do with your extra resources. I think my opponent had more than 18 tucks when I just looked. Um, it's going to be... It's going to be neck and neck. Especially... Actually, he's probably winning. Right now, since I don't have... All these big birds on the board. I'm not sure if I'm going to play Count Raggy's Bird of Paradise. I think my main goal is to get down these platform nests. That will complete our bonus card. And then pretty soon here I'm going to tally up how many platform nests we have. To make sure this little pied cormorant is going to score me the most points with its yellow power. We've got two white powers on the board. My opponent has two. They just played the bunting. Um, that makes me lean towards the... Egret for the double play. Let me see here. I think we'll go with the frigate. We have enough eggs for the double play. I think we'll... We, we won't reveal to our opponent yet that we have a third uh, white power. Um, we switched to the Night Heron. There's still nine points each, but I had um, fish and worms, but I didn't have rats. And so while we have the nectar, I switched birds there to the Black Crown Night Heron. Just little details here and there. Maybe it'll save you a nectar point later. Um, you know, we've collected food for so many turns. I'm trying to figure out what we can play next. I think next we do the double play with the egret. Let me see. One, two. Let 
It'll either be the frigate or the cormorant. I think we have enough food for the frigate, though. All right, my opponent gains food. Hmm. Two turns left. We could lay eggs. Gain food, play a bird. I don't want to draw cards. If I gain food, then I honestly may have too much food. And I don't want to be left hanging at the end of the round with unused nectar. So we will go ahead and do this double play and then lay eggs next time, maybe. Great egret, that's six points. And we still have one unused nectar. So yeah, we can do the frigate bird. That's 16 points together, 13 points with the egg cost. We've almost maxed out the platform nest. And even though the white-faced ibis was uh, more points than the great egret, the great egret was that white power. And so we really just uh, had to make some, make some cuts. We couldn't play all those high-point wetland birds. Sitting at 78, uh, one turn left. My opponent plays a white power, says Phoebe. I really like that bird if it matches your bull nest uh, birds. My opponent looks to have more of a core game. Uh, we've seen a lot of Oceania birds. We're playing them um, and, and repeating the Rufus Owl and Willy Wagtail the majority of the game. But the remainder of the game is basically just bird bombs and hope we can score enough. And in preparation for the last five turns of the game, the last round, we will go ahead and uh, lay eggs to prepare. So we won't have to do that as much the last round. So this Pied Cormorant is going to have one, two, three, four, five, six... Six extra eggs, let me see, plus the two for the cormorant, that's eight, plus he completes platform builder, so that's 11 points for the little pied cormorant, if I can get it down. And my opponent does a great job, he, he, he or she saved that last turn for a white power as well you kind of like to save those new players when you're trying to compete for end around goals if you can wait till the last turn or two it can throw off your opponent versus playing it early on and then you're kind of revealed what what they need to shoot for um here we go we're going to gain food um let me see reset the tray off inch is nothing. Roadrunner and Spotted Owl. You know, I have a berry and a worm with this bird of paradise and two nectar. So my lay eggs action is only four points. But I'm thinking this seven point Bird of Paradise is playable now because that'd be a six-point play. I told you this game is all about bird bombs. I also like this Oceania layout. We've had very different games. If you saw my Rosella game, it was mostly grassland. And then that, uh, you know, obviously this game is, is more bird bombs. I played so many, I can't remember which I've uploaded, but uh, I know one of those games, it felt like we were playing that rainbow board. Just so many different colors, teals, and uh, powers, and uh, I barely had a bird above four points. If you haven't seen that, I'll put, it, I'll put it in the description. Check it out. And we, 
we feel good about this. Um, Rufus Al, Tuck the Roadrunner. We eat those up. Do we reset or take the more hand? I need to lay eggs with this card. We could reset in hopes of a better one, but I think we'll stick with more hand. If we reset, we would not have grabbed... Well, we don't know that. A rainbow lore key popped up, but that's it. So last three turns, it's uh, Cormorant and Bird of Paradise and Lay Eggs. Red Winged Parrot, interesting play. Count Raggies, Bird of Paradise. The Red Winged Parrot, I think you give a Nectar to somebody else. And then it allows the player to lay two eggs or gain two food. Kind of a cool bird. Still trying to figure out how to use some of these, obviously. but And Count Raggy's Bird of Paradise, you choose one player, and I think you both can get a berry. But we were playing it for the six points. If you like this bird bomb action... Uh, now would be a great time to subscribe to the Master Wing channel. You can comment and tell me what you like or dislike. And you could also hit that like button just to help this channel grow. No, I really appreciate all those wingspanners out there They've, that have been encouraging. Um, and I've probably played many of you, so uh, it's been fun. This is kind of sad. It's uh, two or three days and we will no longer have the Oceania version. I'm not 100% sure when the official version will be released. Obviously, we can't wait. We've been playing it almost nonstop. Little Pied Cormorant, check it out. We got a yellow power, some screen time, and that's, in my opinion, exactly what you want to do with the yellow power. You want to kind of wait and see if your yellow power will line up with your game. Um, that was an 11-point play with the bonus card and the extra eggs we get. But, uh, you know, when you, when you first play Oceania, sometimes it'd be tempting to just play yellow power straight away. And then at the end of the game, they're a little anticlimactic because you can't you know, lay lay six eggs, you're, you're laying like two because you only had a couple ground nests or something like that. My opponent plays Plains Wanderer, so they get to see four bonus cards right now and, and keep one. So they're making their selection. And last turn of the game, it looks like we're winning the Forest and Wetland Nectar Battle. So we will go ahead and discard the Moorhen. Get rid of get <laughs> can't speak. Get rid of these extra resources. We were two food heavy. But that's because their red winged parrot uh let us grab two more food, I think. So no no no. I lied. They just gave us a nectar. So I think we used our resources pretty well. Um, that four-point egg play was the best we could do at the end. And we tied beaks pointing to the right. And here we go. Check out my egg count on the right. We're going to boost up from 6 to 12. I'm loving it. I'm loving the yellow powers. And we are the green kakapo. I like our chances here. Like I said, it was mostly focused on uh, big point birds. And since we had a decent forest and nectar access, we could play them. 58 bird points, not bad. Did really well on our goals. There's those tucks. Man, he brought it almost all the way back. Close game. 
113.106. That was pretty cool. Um, 113, I'm not sure if that's high, low, or average. We'll see. Um, let's see what their Plains Wanderer got. That Viticulturist looks like for three points. They maxed out Mechanical Engineer, and Passerine was was a zero. So great game to my opponent. Um, I see the Red Winged Parrot, but, but not many other Oceania birds. I was wondering if they had Falconer. Rufus Owl. Willy Wagtail, Lapwing, Cormorant, Frigate Bird, Oceania, you were great. Thank you for watching. 113, got the dub. See you next time. Peace.